watch how many Snapchat stories like, oh my gosh, I should have gone. Like, no, no one's going to remember who I am when I go to school on Monday. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hey, my name's Danielle. Nice to meet you. Subscribe, join the Dan fam. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. I am sitting here. I literally just rolled in from school like 20 minutes ago. And I came in and I was talking to my mom and I was feeling really talkative and just like really inspired. I, I just had a really good day at school today. And I just have a lot on my mind. And a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a video about how I balance school, social life, YouTube, and all that fun stuff. I've done a video about how to stop procrastinating, which you guys should definitely check out. But this video is going to be a little bit more specific to how me being a senior in high school, if you guys didn't know, I'm applying to college. And I also have a lot of leadership positions in school. I also have a YouTube channel. I also tried to have a social life and like hang out with my friends and balance time with family and balance time with me time. It's hard. I'm not gonna lie. But I wanted to talk to you guys about this and hopefully it will help. I asked you guys on Twitter and everyone was like, I need to see this video. So I'm hoping this will help you guys because as we all know, it is officially second semester, which is crazy. For me, I'm a second semester senior, which is crazy. Like literally this is my last semester of high school, which is Anyways, that's crazy, but um, I know a lot of you guys are in the same position or you're just having trouble staying inspired before summer starts because I know second semester it's like it's after Christmas and you have that post Christmas depression and then you're like, oh, just a push until spring break. Well, guess what? You got this. For me, second semester always kind of goes by pretty fast. And if you just stay strong and keep pushing forward and know that summer is actually kind of around the corner and spring break, it's a really good feeling to know that you're working hard and then you're rewarded for it during spring break and summer break and all those fun things. But I do know a lot of you guys are amazing and you're so involved at your school and you have all these other passions, but you also have trouble balancing it all. I feel ya. I've had many breakdowns, don't you worry. But I'm here to talk to you guys just about some of, my, some of my experiences. It's not necessarily a super formal video where I'm like, five ways to handle like life and balance it all. No, that's not what this video is going to be. I mean, that's what this video is about, but I'm going to be more casual and just kind of be real with you guys and talk to you about some of my experiences and what I've learned from them and a few tips that I have. So without further ado, please avoid my rambling. I swear I did not have any ounce of caffeine today. I just came home with like this natural energy and it was really cool and I was like, I think this means I have to film a video. So here's the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about. The social life aspect, if you're in middle school, if you're in high school, even if you're in college, missing one social event or a party or hanging out with friends is not gonna ruin your social reputation. It's not the end of the world. Here's what it comes down to. This might be hard to believe, but not everyone cares as much as you think. Which is like, what? No, I have best friends that love hanging out with me. That's so true. But if you miss one thing, and you're at home and you're like watching all these Snapchat, Snapchat stories like, oh my gosh, I should have gone. gone. Like, no, no one's, one's gonna, gonna remember, remember who I am when I go to school on Monday. Trust me, I've been there. I've been there. We've all been there. If you haven't been there, then just admit to it. We all know we feel like that sometimes. Well, guess what? You not being at that social event isn't the end of the world. You would be surprised. People aren't all there thinking, wow, you know, Melissa didn't come to the party. She's at home studying. Like, she's so lame. Like, I'm not gonna talk to her at school on Monday. Trust me, no one's thinking like that. No one. Probably people just assume you were there. If it's like a bigger event, people just assume. Like, there's been so many times when I just stay home because I know I have stuff to do, I need to work on myself, or whatever it is, and I just, I can't go to that social event. And on Monday, people will be like, oh yeah, when that happened, and I'm like, I wasn't there, but okay, like it really doesn't matter. You might not get to post that Snapchat story or that Instagram picture with all your friends, but at the end of the day, your friends will still love you if they're good friends and it's not the end of the world. I just want you guys to know that. So if you're having trouble balancing and you know the weekend is your time to do your extra work or whatever, but the weekend's also the time to do social life, if you have to miss one thing, it's okay. You'll be happier if you have A's and B's or whatever than if you went to that one social event. At least I hope that's how you would feel. <laughs> Secondly, kind of on the same idea, it's okay to be selfish when it comes to things like this. I've had trouble junior year and a little bit in the beginning of senior year with saying no to people, which is probably like, no, you should say yes to everything. Like, yeah, do whatever. You have to be selfish sometimes. There's gonna be times when you have so much on your plate, but people count on you for things or people are expecting so much of you because they might know how amazing of a person you are or how great you are at doing this and you can help them with it. And I've had many times when people ask me to do something that they know I can help them with and I say yes and then I end up adding so much to my plate. There's so many things on my planner 
and it stresses me out and I don't even end up doing the best I can on that thing because I am so stressed and it just puts me in a really awful situation. Trust me, I've been there. It is so hard to say no sometimes. I'm, I am a people pleaser. I'm trying to get better at not being, which sounds bad, but like going back to my original point, it's okay to be selfish sometimes. If you have to do stuff for your own self, that's what you have to focus on first. Of course, it's not like, oh, well, I wanna go shopping. Like, I don't wanna help you with that. No, that's a little selfish. But what I'm saying is if you know you have to go home and you have this essay that you need to work on, but someone asks you if you can, I don't know, make like a, make a, help them edit a video, for example. Like I've had people ask me to help them edit videos and like I love doing it. And I, it's not like something I don't like to do, but then I say yes because I'm all excited and I want to help them out. And then I get home and it's like, I end up, I sometimes I would edit the video before I would finish that essay. And, you know, I ended up finishing that essay, but it was under a lot of pressure and a lot of stress because I was worried about getting this done for that person when really I should have been selfish and focused on my academic career and me first. And it's okay to say no. It's okay to say, hey, I just have a lot on my plate. Like, I would love to help you, but now is not the best time. And sure, they might be bummed because they love you and they're really excited for you to help them, but they would do the same thing in retrospect. So that's what you have to remember. On the line of leadership positions and being in clubs, this is something really important that I want you guys to know. You don't have to be in every single club and this many leadership positions to get into college. Believe it or not, college is like it when you are involved in like a few things that are you are truly passionate about. Now you guys might be thinking, Danielle, what the heck, you do so many things. I know, I'm crazy, I just have so many interests in so many fields and I think high school is a great time to kind of explore those things so that when you get into college you kind of have a better idea and it's okay not to have a good idea of what you want to major in or whatever but doing all these different things helps me see what my passions are and where I can go further in my life and they're all things that I want to be involved in and I know I won't be able to do when I'm an adult. Like I can't be a football manager for a varsity men's football team when I'm an adult and a mom, like I can't do that and that's something that I really love. So as long as you are truly passionate about those things, that's what's important. So if you're, if you're trying to balance everything and you're worried and you're stressed, just remember you can cut some things out of your life. You can do less things as long as you're, it's like, it's about like quantity or no, <laughs> it's about quality over quantity. I know you guys have probably heard that saying before, but it's true. It's more important to be involved with a few things that are really important to you than a ton of things that you just like wrote your name on and you go to the club once a week and you just call it done. I mean, what do you think? Lastly, a lot of you guys have just been asking me like specifically how I kind of do everything. So I kind of want to give you guys an overall gist of like my schedule and how I just kind of balance YouTube, social life, school, and like extracurricular activities just so you guys can kind of get a reference. So I'm in my school's advanced theater ensemble, which is like the most advanced like theater group. So we do two main stage shows, two second stage shows, and then a more casual one, and then the spring musical. So that's a lot of time. Um, so those are always rehearsals after school. I was also a football manager this past fall, and I went to like one practice a week to help out the coach. Sometimes I couldn't, and he was really cool about that. But I always went to the Friday games, unless I had a show or something. And that's when I got to like go and help out the boys, and be on the team, and like be on the sidelines, or attend to practices, attend practices, or help coaches with anything they need. Then I'm also president of the Spirit Club, which is honestly one of the bigger um, roles I have at my school. <clears throat> I organize all the pep rallies, I plan a lot of things, we do Spirit Week, we do Homecoming Week, we organize all these activities, and we're always trying to spread spirit and cheer. So that's like one of my favorite things, but it's definitely time consuming. Um, so kind of what I do is I focus on school and extracurriculars during the week. Saturday mornings, I film. I film, I film, I film, or I'll film on Sundays, it depends. But usually it's like Saturdays are like my day to like do all my YouTube-y stuff. And then I upload those videos to YouTube. I edit it all on like Saturday night or whatever. And then, or Sunday if I'm doing something on Saturday night with my friends. And then I'll schedule them to upload throughout the week so that throughout the week, I'm not worried about editing and uploading those videos. I am just responding to comments, but mainly I'm just doing schoolwork and working on my extracurriculars. So basically the weekend's just kind of like my me time, and then the weekdays is schoolwork. And then during the weekdays though, a good way to get me time is packing a bag in the morning of fitness clothes or like workout clothes 
and on your way home from school dropping by the gym and just doing like a 30 minute workout so that when you're home you're home you can shower eat or whatever and then get to work and start grinding was this video helpful for you guys please let me know down below and if you have any other time management skills or tips definitely leave those down below in the comments for me because I'm going to college next year and I'm still in high school or anyone else here watching this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being a part of this family. I love seeing all of your responses and I just, I just love you guys so much. I hope this video is helpful for you guys and I will see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye guys!